Welcome back. We're on Nini and the Car Doctor here. You know, as the saying or as the song goes, I think it's the uh, future looks bright. I'm going to wear shades that um, it's the idea of when I think of that, it refers to that of the automobile business in terms of what we're going to see coming down the road for technology. And uh, one of the things that looks so bright in terms of what it's going to do for us in the future is the term telematics. And I thought to help explain to us what telematics is and how it's going to affect uh, the cars that we drive in and what we're going to be driving in the future, we would go right to the source, and that would be Chris Slezak. He's from over at the folks at Delphi, and he's here to talk to us today about telematics. Chris, welcome aboard, sir. Good afternoon, Ron. Thank you very much for uh, having me here. Uh, telematics, Chris. Um, we, we hear a lot about the term, particularly in the automotive aftermarket. What is aftermarket telematics, and why is it important to the drivers out there today? Okay, great. Uh, Telematics, you can really think about it as a enabling technology. It's really a wireless communication tool that allows the independent aftermarket repair shops to talk with the car owners uh, through a device installed on the vehicle. Um, the device itself fits in, the, let's say, the palm of your hand and uh, fits on pretty much any standard uh, vehicle, 1996 and, and newer, through their OBD2 uh, port. And uh, basically, the telematics is, is really, think about it as a two-way communication tool that really allows um, the independent aftermarket uh, service center to get the information from the vehicle and make sense out of that and really allow the drivers um, to provide that extra peace of mind and that extra benefits. I think we can all relate to uh, situations where a diagnostic code uh went off, and uh, I think for the, the average person, um, he or she doesn't really understand what does that mean, and is this something that they need to pull off on the side of the road, or is this something that they keep in driving? So telematics really is a enabling technology that allows the independent aftermarket uh, garage to have a deeper relationship and a communication tool to the end consumer. So I guess the best way I can explain it for everybody out there, and you correct me, Chris, is that you know you're traveling along, you stop and get gas, you you're driving cross country, uh, you get your gas, you're driving along, and a couple hours later the check engine light pops on. Now it could be that the gas cap was left loose and the EVAP monitor just ran and it picked that up and set a P0456 code. Or it could be unrelated to getting gas, and it's got something more serious going on. But the idea would be that telematics, a remote transmission of diagnostic data in the vehicle, would then or could then be sent to an independent repair shop, there the customer's repair shop, and they could say, "Hey, Mr. Smith, um, it's uh, an evaporative emissions code. Did you just get gas? Check the cap." Or it could be something more along the lines of. Hey, it's an engine misfire that you can't feel, but it's there. You've got to get it looked at right away. Don't drive the vehicle. Fair analysis? That's a perfect analysis. And, you know, here at Delphi, not only are we working on those type of features today, we're also working on features that instead of, uh, let's say, notifying the end consumer after something went wrong, again, whether it's uh, – uh, you forgot your gas cap, or, or to your point, a diagnostic code went off. Uh, we're actually working technology that can basically um, notify the uh, service center and the consumers of a problem before it even happens. And that's what we call in the industry prognostics. And again, the ability to, um, again, notify something uh, that potentially. Uh, that may uh, shut the vehicle off before you're, you know, on the side of the road and stranded. Before you, before you have a problem. We're talking with Chris Slezak from Delphi. For those of you just tuning in about telematics and the future of automobiles. Chris, 30 seconds or less, I'm going to hit you with a couple of terms. Um, connected car telematics is what we're discussing, but what about teen monitoring? Is, is, is there a potential there for that? Absolutely. We uh, already have a lot of, uh, let's say, customer uh, pull for that. Uh, basically, uh, one of the other features that our uh, Delphi Connected Car Telematics Solution can provide is for those um, 
uh, parents that are concerned about, uh, you know, their, uh, let's say, teenage uh, drivers. And again, statistically, I think teenage drivers are a lot more prone to, to accidents and deaths, unfortunately. But uh, the device or the solution that we have allows uh, whether, um, let's say, your, your little kid, uh, Bobby or, or Jane, uh, goes at 85 miles an hour, or whether they're driving the vehicle after curfew times, so let's say between the hours of 1 a.m. and 5 a.m., or they're going down to, let's say, the city or certain other geographical areas that, uh, let's say, are, are just uh, um, kind of that, that uh, do not enter a list. So right, telematics. Telematics will, will, will tell us that. Hey, Chris, real quick, the clock's going to grab us. Um, is there a website, Delphi.com? Yes, uh, you can go for, for those listeners. Uh, we have more information on Delphi.com forward slash AM for the aftermarket. You can also follow us on uh, Twitter at, uh, at Delphi Auto Parts. And then... We'll have to leave it there, Chris. Thank you very much. I'm Ron Anany in the car.